Hello, sir. You're welcome to International Focus in Nigeria. Thank you very much. Why, why Comrade, even as uh, a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? Well, uh, in Nigeria, uh, the concept is uh, associated with uh, people who have been uh, in the saddle of uh, leadership of unionism. And uh, from the beginning of my life, even right from secondary school, I had at one time or the other been at the hands of affairs of uh, unionism in Nigeria. And so when eventually I veered out of uh, the academia uh, to work as a politician, the concept of comrade, because of the struggles that we waged against establishment at that time, became synonymous with my name. And so it became very difficult for me uh, at any point in time, even up to now, uh, to remove the appellation from my, from my name. And so it has generally become my title, just like others answer Mr. But uh, cause a lot of people would think that, you know, the comrade uh, title or the appellation, so to say, uh, has to come with um, a lot of revolt and a lot of uh, rebelliousness. Well, I, I, I don't think that that is completely correct. Uh, uh, what, what people may think is rebellion it's actually a struggle for a better society. It is for the federal government to arm the civil defense course, which has become a reality today. Yeah. And looking at the challenges, the security challenges that Nigeria goes through, do you think that that, that's, that solid step that you took has created some results in terms of our security challenge in the country? As a matter of fact, it, it has created, it, it, it has also brought the Nigerian security and civil defense core into the front burner of Nigeria's security architecture. Uh, that right now, the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps is in the forefront of protecting critical national infrastructure and assets. And, and, and today, the officers and men of the service will tell you that that has been the best thing that has ever happened to them in life. At, at the 50 years anniversary of the Nigerian Immigration Service, you said, and I quote, the service must commit to seamless service delivery at home and in diaspora, particularly. We must comply with Mr. President's charge that travel documents must be delivered to Nigerians within 24 hours. Anything to the contrary is unacceptable. But yet, I want to ask, because, I mean, this, this order uh, of yours and this, this sort of very important, you know, delivery that you gave on that day. It doesn't seem to be the case. There are still delays in terms of. Oh, so we go for we go for a short commercial break, and when we come back, he takes the question. You're watching International Focus Nigeria with Green Ndume. Sir, you're back once again on the show. So our, our question, because these passports are still delayed, there are, there are still allegations of racketeering within the immigration service, which you have been fighting so hard to to rip out. What, what has been the situation? Yeah, uh, you, you are aware that um, the immigration service is the first point of contact between any country and the international community. Nigeria is not an exception. I also want to inform you that in the beginning, on assumption of office, Mr. President had introduced a new dimension to performance evaluation. And in order to enlist maximum performance from key officers of his administration, especially ministers, had entered into a performance contract with us ministers. Uh, this performance contract with Mr. President has key performance indicators. For us in the Ministry of Interior, especially as it relates to immigration, as was reducing to the barest minimum the delay in time of issuance of travel documents. And so, Mr. President, in the process, had expressed a desire whereby Nigerians and people who want to do business with Nigeria have a maximum of 24 hours to obtain 
either passport if you are a Nigerian or visa if you are a non-Nigerian to enter Nigeria. Let's, let's look at one event that took place uh, on, the, on, the, on the 15th of March, a very significant thing that happened. Uh, when about 20 job seekers died in instant at the National Assembly. Well, I'm surprised that you are still talking about, about, about yeah, I want when, the figures, when the figures are there for you. Yeah, I want us to look at this issue you know? because they are also very important that we look at them. Looking at, yeah, the, yeah, looking look, at the arising look, issues. Look, look, looking at arising issues does not also imply distorting facts that are already on ground. Now, this because I, I, I expect that by now that all investigations have been conducted and the rest of them, the figure of the number of Nigerians yes. that died on the 15th of March as a result of the stampede at four stadia in Nigeria during the recruitment exercise should have been at the fingertips of every journalist. We no longer want to speculate. I can tell you now that... Are you that saying th that there, there were are 16, more than 15? There are 16. Sorry, more than 20 or there were 16? There were less than 20. That is what I'm this trying to say. This is a fact out this there. Is that, is that, is that, the government did not actually come clear to tell the world that... What, what, what is, who is government? I am the one, and okay. I have said this for the optimist time. But the, so you cannot no claim ignorance of the figure, because the figure has been given out. I gave it out, because I know it. But there are also in, I mean, independent investigators that carried out their own research, which confirmed... I can tell you that it's sheer speculation. No but, independent investigator... But what can can denigrate from the fact on ground. We, we, we look at we look at this later, but um, we'll we, we try to um, see how we can sort out this thing because this is an international. Well, well, if you want to sort out your own way, fine. But I am responsible for this exercise. I went to all the hospitals. The hospital, the federal government set up a committee. The hospital records were made available to the committee, and so if you go and ex import any numbers from elsewhere because you are an independent investigator, then you can deal with it your own way. But I am telling you, and you are hearing it from the horse's mouth, that it is 16 persons not that 20. died, not 20. I want to say this on point that Comrade Patrick Morrow is the Nigerian Interior Minister, and we will expect that whatever fact that he is giving here is the official fact that government has released, and that is what is obtainable.